an actress for 25 years. My guest has starred in numerous movies and TV series. I enjoyed her five-year role as Andy Griffith's law partner on Matlock. Nancy Stafford spent three years on the Emmy Award-winning St. Elsewhere. Sidekicks was the ABC series, and she began her television acting career as a regular on the NBC drama The Doctors. Nancy co-stars with Daniel Baldwin in Christmas with a capital C. We're going to get a peek at that in just a minute. <laughs> Nancy, we're already having such a good time. We are. Uh, we were married the same month, the yep. same year. Same year. May 89. Yep. And we're the same age. Yep. And we're not telling. <laughs> and, um, uh, wow, your husband, Larry... He's a graduate of Dallas Theological Seminary, yep. um, worship leader, yep. pastor since 1975. Yep. And what a, ooh, he's got a pretty interesting, he's recorded with Bob Dylan, yep. Chuck Gerard, yep. just to name a couple. <laughs> And he's really a minister to musical artists. He is. He has a very specific and incredible ministry to the artistic community, a actors, writers, producers, musicians. So he's an amazing man. God has been very good to me. Now, did he find you in Hollywood? Well, yeah, we met in the singles capital of the world, Marina Del Rey. I found oh. a godly man, go figure. So Beautiful, just yeah. shows you God can do that. He can, he can. And you have had just an amazing career. I mean, let's start with Christmas because, uh, wow, this is timely. This is the theme, mm -hmm. Christmas is under attack it everywhere, is. isn't it? It is. This movie is ripped right from today's headlines and today we were just hearing about the church in Texas and kind of the same story. What I love about the movie though is it's funny, it's poignant, it's timely, it's, uh, it's tender, but it also, it, it causes us as the church to have to kind of think about some of the ways that we approach some things. So I, I like that message. I did too. And we're gonna show a little clip here. Uh, by the way, the scenery. <laughs> can you can you miss scenery when you shoot in Alaska? Oh, it's gosh. just there. It is. It's Very few people, lots of grandeur. <laughs> it was you were beautiful. telling me some of the things they were going to do as indoor shots. Mm -hmm. They moved outside. We did. It was so beautiful. We had to take advantage of that splendor. So we sh moved some of the interior scenes right outside. Seward, Alaska becomes Trapper Falls. Trapper Falls. Yeah. Uh, I, I want you to see these faces because you're going to find, I know I was, I was looking at them and saying, now, where, where do we know that guy from? Tell us who this is. This is Ted McGinley, who plays my husband and the mayor of our town. And you know Ted from many, many years on television and films. He did Married with Children. He was in uh, Happy Days long ago. Really? Yeah. And he was in a show called Faith and Hope. Oh, yes. A magnificent actor, funny That's guy. That's Kelly Ripa. Yes. In there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And he's a lovely, lovely guy. We had such a great time. This is a comedian. Brad Stein. Crazy, wacky Brad Stein. Stand-up comedian. And actually, Funny. the film is sort of based on a rant that he does um, with Go Fish doing the song Christmas with a capital C. And Brad does this comedic rant about, call Christmas what it is. You know, so at the end of the movie, we see the entire rant. And here's the wife and mother of, yes. a, of a delightful little girl who's down here. Francesca De Rosa, who is absolutely an, a little angel. She is hysterically funny, very natural, and she was just a delight on the set all day long. This was maybe the biggest surprise for me. Mm -hmm. He's the bald one I forgot about, <laughs> but he, his mannerisms are just like Alec. Yeah. He's the second of the four boys. He is. He's the second of the four bad Baldwin boys, and uh, he did a great job as our Grinch character. He really is. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh. He was scary bad. I mean, he was, he was fabulous in the role. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well... Uh, let's just have a little taste of Christmas with a capital C. Forgive me for looking at this so simply. I teach elementary kids after all, but Christmas starts with a capital C. The C comes from a name, Christ. Christ the Lord is the center of Christmas. Not our rights, not our tradition, none of that matters. If, if it starts to detract us from the one whose birth we celebrate. Mm. We didn't see the Grinch in that shot. Not that shot. <laughs> How long did it take? We shot that film in about two and a half weeks. It was a very fast schedule. Mm, yeah, that, crazy fast. That's amazing. This is not in theaters this Christmas. No. 
uh, it's it's a DVD for purchase. Just came out last month. You're right. Just came out in November. DVD release, so you can acquire it online or in bookstores or on my website. And it, it is going to have some television airing um, this Christmas. We hope for a few days in the states. It's going to be on GMC. I don't know if you all get GMC up here. I don't know no. if we get that. But maybe it'll be on your network next year. Wouldn't that be nice on I television? Think there's, there's a big. Uh, Big positive Yay. on that. I'll tell you, last Christmas, the Go Fish song, uh -huh. Christmas with a capital C, yeah. I think it's the most popular email that came to me. Oh, it good. Just, uh, it was the song of the season. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. yeah. And here as well. And they use it in the outtakes, which show you all doing your thing yeah. in the process of making the movie. It looks like you had a great time. We had a great time. And again, the message is just so important for us as the church in particular. It's again the story of the, the Grinch coming to town and slapping a, re, a restraining order on the town for having a religious display. And for us to decide, you know, let's put our feet to faith and let's just start being Christmas. Let's just see the trailer. <laughs> All right. Christmas with the yeah. In Trapper Falls, Alaska, Christmas is the biggest celebration of the year. This is the only time of year the entire world has this like shared experience of peace and, and hope for the future. I raise a cup to you, Trapper Falls. Merry Christmas! But that's all about to change. Someone new moving into town? Look at this. Well, 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 if it isn't the Reed brothers, I've been looking for you boys. Mitch Bright stopped by town today. High school Mitch Bright? You had a high school rival. So what did you guys compete over? Football, basketball, mom. I won that one. Why would he come back here after so many years? What's he after? A formal complaint has been filed about the town Christmas decorations. Who filed this complaint? The Grinch? Mitch Bright. Now to save Christmas. Joe, what are you doing? Season's greetings? It works for everybody. Doesn't work for me. He hates God. He doesn't want equal representation of religion. He wants none. You really care about city hall decorations? I do have a problem with Christmas. And all the rest of the garbage you Christians have been jamming down my throat since I was a kid. Okay, you got the Grinchy moment there. <laughs> and, and some of you know that uh, the youngest Baldwin brother is a very passionate Christian. Stephen. Mm. I wonder if that was coming from the heart from Daniel. Mm. I'm having some things jammed down his throat. Mm. Anyway, this is, it, it, there's something for everybody in Christmas with a capital C. I, I don't know if you picked up on the, the teenage romance going on there. And then the precious little girl. It's like going to every wonderful child's pageant. It's all in this. It is. So many delights of Christmas. NancyStafford.com if you want to purchase this DVD. And I want to talk to you because you are Sharing your faith on many levels, Nancy. It's, uh, we were promoting that you were in Kitchener all weekend. Beauty by the Book is a book that I bought several years ago because I was speaking on this subject. I had no idea it was you. Aww. Seeing yourself as God sees you. And this lovely book, The Wonder of His Love, A Journey into the Heart of God. Beth Moore says, the wonder of his love is like a warm embrace from God himself. Mm -hmm. You're living in that embrace sharing it with others, but it's been a journey for you. It has. I think it's a journey for all of us, but for me, um, I was telling you earlier as we were just chatting, I write what I need. And the first book came about as a result of I desperately needed to know what my real identity in Christ was all about so that I would no longer be swayed by the circumstances of life, nor the rejections or acceptance of Hollywood telling me I was good enough, you're pretty enough, you're thin enough, you're young enough, you're talented enough. And I had struggled all my life with really deep-seated feelings of insecurity and inadequacy. And it was only until after I came to the Lord that He began to heal my heart and assure me of my absolute security and identity in Him, that I am have Christ in me, that my identity is not what I do, what I have, what I look like, or how well I perform. It's in God's absolute unshakable love for me mm -hmm. and His life in me. And I thought if I needed it, maybe other women need it as maybe, well. <laughs> maybe. Uh, did you have that confidence when you were Miss Florida? heading to the Miss America pageant? No, I was shy and insecure my whole life and I think I started pursuing some of these sorts of things thinking this will build my confidence. And um, even getting in the most rejection prone industry there is, oh. Hollywood, I was still struggling with that deep secret you know, insecurity and 
feelings of unworthiness during those those earlier years. So, it so was where tough. did you find the one uh, who's crazy about you? Who's crazy in love with? I us. don't mean your husband. Oh, him too. <laughs> um, I grew up in the church. Walked away from the church in, when I started college. 15 years never darkened the door of another church. And then I had a crisis in my life that began to make me realize that I needed a foundation. I needed God. And I, it threatened to disfigure. I had a cancer that threatened to disfigure my face. Oh my God. And, and you were already in the industry. I was a top person in the industry at the time. And a doctor said, you know, I have to tell you that I can't promise you what you'll look like after our surgery, so you better have another career in mind and that rocked my world. So I began a search for God, but guess what? It took me through all the world religions. I didn't want Christianity, been there, done that. So I studied- Baptist girl growing up, Little Baptist you? girl, yeah. yeah. But I, like so many people I'm afraid, I was really uh, not happy about what I thought was this hypocrisy of so many people in the church. So I thought, I have no problem with God, but I've got a problem with God's people. Mm -hmm. And I was too immature to know how to articulate it to anybody and really talk about this stuff and hash it out. But when I did finally come back to needing a relationship with God, it brought me through Buddhism and Hinduism and Rosicrucianism and the metaphysics. But one day I was reading the Bible every day too, just mixing it up. And one day one of my many spiritual books had arrived and I went off to Hawaii to shoot an episode of Magnum PI. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they'd brought me in three days too early. And I had nothing to do for three days but open my backpack, pull out this book, and God had made an appointment with me because it was a collection of Christian testimonies. Oh. And for three days, I never left my hotel room. And I had an appointment with God where he showed me who he really was as the true father that I so desperately wanted, um, as the one who really loved me exactly as I was. Don't you dare try to clean yourself up. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Come to me exactly as you are. It's my job to heal you and cleanse you. I'm gonna wipe all that filth off of your face, beautiful daughter. And after three days of an encounter with God that I've never experienced since, that to that degree, um, I was changed. And I came back to LA and prayed for work I could be proud of. and. Uh, godly man and soon after met my husband and got some really good work that I've been very proud of over the years. Wow. Am I ever proud to call you my sister? <laughs> Thank you, Moira. You too. Oh, I hope you'll come back. I'd, I'd love to probe these. Mm. How was it working with Andy Griffith? Oh, he's the best. He's an American icon. He, well, he's a, a, a national icon for every country. He was fabulous, fun, delightful. I learned so much from him. We became good friends. Mm. Please come back. I would love to. We may be seeing a lot of you next Christmas. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Christmas with a capital oh. C. Uh, you can connect with Nancy at uh, nancystafford.com. And uh, I hope we'll see her even I before think, then. I hope so. Thank you so much, Moira. Christmas wish. <laughs> yes. We'll be right back. Don't go away.